we have a basic triangular shaped tent. The base of our tent is 10 feet wide and the middle support is 6 feet high. At what angle does the tent touch the ground? Okay, so we're looking for what? An angle or a side? We are looking for an angle. So is that a forward or a backwards? I hope you're saying backwards, looking for angles. So let's draw this and try to figure out what exactly we're looking for here. Okay, so here's our tent. This measurement is 10. The pole is 6. And we're looking for the angle that the tent makes with the ground. So here's our tent and here's the ground. So that's our angle. Now, if this comes straight down, it's going to cut the side of 10 in half, isn't it? So I'm going to take my 10 and I'm going to split it into 5 and 5. So now I have a right triangle, don't I? But instead of the right triangle having a side of 10, it only has a side of 5. So now let's just isolate and work on this side. So I'm going to erase half of the tent just to make it a little easier for us to look at. Okay, which two sides do we have? From this reference angle, we have opposite and adjacent. So this one is a tan problem, right? Tangent of x is equal to opposite over adjacent, so 6 over 5. Okay, let's work the inverse, so the tangent of or the inverse tangent of 5, 6, and you put in 6 divided by 5, top divided by bottom. Grab your calculator, and we're going to take second tangent. Get our inverse tan of 6 divided by 5, and we get 50.1. Okay, so we can just round that to 50 degrees. So x is 50 degrees. Okay, so if we go back to the original drawing, let's go back and add our dimensions on our tent. So we can kind of really see what's going on here. Okay, so we have 50 degrees here, the tent pole coming down at 6 feet, the tent that spreads 10 feet along the ground. We know that this side would also have to be 50, wouldn't it? Because we know that this is an isosceles triangle because this is a tent with two equal sides in the pole right down the middle. So let's think about that. What if we had to find the angle up here? What would it be? Well, 50 and 50 is 100, and we have a triangle here, so that would have to be 80 degrees up there. Okay, just some little extra things to support your learning. There you go.